is the goal. Back with the bass, pajamas live in effect, and I don't waste time. Off the mic with a dope rhyme, jump to the rhythm, jump, jump to the rhythm, jump. And I'm here to combine beats and lyrics to make you shake the pants, take a chance. Come on and dance, guys, grab a girl, don't wait, make a swirl. It's your world, and I'm just a squirrel. Trying to get a nut to move your butt to the dance floor. So, yo, what's up? Hands in the air, come on, say yeah. Everybody over here, everybody over there. The crowd is live, and I will do this too. Party people in the house, move. Shake that, shake that. So ahead, baby, let me see what you got. You know you got the biggest. 
his booty in this spot. And I just wanna see that thing drop. From the back to the front to the top. You know me, I'm off in the cut. Always like this world, looking for a nut. This is up for show, I'm not talking about luck. I'm not talking about love, I'm talking about lust. So let's get loose, have some fun. Forget about bills in the first of the month. It's my night, your night, our night. Let's turn it up. I knew my rent was gonna be later. With a Kodak, or better yet, go to Times Square, take a picture of me with a Kodak. Took my life from negative to positive. I just want y'all to know that. And tonight, let's enjoy life. Pitbull, Nadia, Neo, that's right. But tonight, I can make it my queen and make love to you endless. It's insane the way the name growing, money keep flowing. Hustlers moving silent, so I'm tiptoeing. So keep blowing, I got it locked up like Lindsay Lohan. Put it on my life, baby. I'm gonna get feel right, baby. Can't promise tomorrow, but I promise tonight. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. And I might drink a little more than I should tonight. And I might take you home with me if I could tonight. Baby, I'ma make you feel so good tonight Cause we might not get tomorrow Tonight, I'm a love like you tonight Give me everything tonight For all we know, we might not get tomorrow Let's do it Yo, girl, <laughs> when I'm involved with the deeper than the Masons, baby, baby, and it ain't no secret. My family's from Cuba, but I'm an American. I don't get money like secrets. Put it on my life, baby. I'll make you feel right, baby. Can't promise tomorrow, but I promise tonight. Dolly. Excuse me, excuse me. And I might drink a little more than I should tonight. And I might take you home with me if I could tonight. And baby, I'm gonna make you feel so good tonight. Cause we might not get tomorrow Shaking in the deli with my pick at a daddy. 
Biggie like him already. He want the wop, but I just want the Freddy. And I'm back in his partner, I'm petty. Call me that B while he eating my honey. You know, love bitches with money. I get a lot. I get a lot. Taking a spot. If you ain't cooking, then get off the pot. My name Ice, but I always stay hot. Passenger princess, he passed me his knock. Baddest little my block. Me and baddies be getting along. So they always be singing my song. Stepping outside, I'ma put that shit on. 300 and then I perform. You know I'ma get to the bag. Or the hay and to the bag. Too much to lose, so I cannot react. Damn, be going outside. She a baddie, she showing her panty. She shaking like jelly. 100 bands of Chanel. But I'm still shaking in the deli. With my back getting daddy. He like him already. He want the walk, but I just want the Freddy. And I'm back in his pocket. Call us, call us, DJ T.O. She's so dope. <laughs> If you let shit fly, ain't bad if you got a ride. Big guns and a lot of zip ties. Says she look like me, quit lying. Don't stop, 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 don I just wanna rock. I just wanna. I just wanna rock. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Uh, uh, hit it once, no time. Set up. You gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides, and you better choose wise. Leave the ladies alone. That's my hobby. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Uh, uh, hit it once, no time. Set up. You gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides, and you better choose wisely. That's my hobby. This ain't what you want. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Thought I was immune But the bitter I was rude 
Texas, baby. Ball and G, that's Memphis, baby. Short dog, that's Oakland, baby. Ain't nothing but pimping these days, G. My nigga C got locked up, but these girls still know they got to give a f what you say. Short dog with UGK. Do you really wanna be like me? Spit game like Snoop and TIP. Pretty girls in the VIP, they came with Dre. They don't need ID. Blow the whistle. Your mind is gone, your brain is blazed, you've been wide awake for the last three days. Popping, it goes down for real, don't stop, just keep rolling downhill. Crash and burn, can't stand, fall back. You're doing too much, you can't handle all that. Man, it's been way too long. Time to let the whole world play your songs. Like me, my sh gets around. Lead the country, come back and hit the town. I'm in Miami, New York, and ATL. Houston and LA, ask Dave Chappelle. Buy my rich, he got her from me and made 50 million dollars. I'm proud of you, D. But I'm crazy, you don't wanna be like me. I come from me, something where the youngsters get hyped. Blow it. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Go ahead and leave, baby. It's one thing that I found out. Can't have one woman, gotta have three. One woman just to hold me down. One woman just to lift me up. Oh, yeah. And I gotta at least have one woman on the side. It really don't feel No show. If you wanna go, baby, go ahead and walk out the door. But one thing that you gotta remember is one monkey don't stop no show. This train gon' keep on rolling. Oh yeah, this thing called life gon' keep on going. Oh yeah, this train gon' keep on rolling. Oh yeah, this thing called life gon' keep on going. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You 
How's everyone feeling today? I don't know, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling perfect. I have no, no surprise that this place is filled. It's been like this for the last 10 years. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Brad Muller, proud to be the radio voice of South Carolina women's basketball the last 17 years. And in case you missed it last night, South 40 Carolina minutes ago now at uh, Columbia yeah. Airport. And uh, these fans are ready. They open the doors at 1230 today to let them in. And now everyone Let's is getting hype. Out. We know Dawn we'll is holding the trophy. For a little bit. Let's meet your players first. Pow, Number pow. zero, senior guard, Tahina Pow Pow. Number two, sophomore yeah. forward, no. Ashlyn oh, Watkins. We, 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 no, Number no, five, money, freshman money, guard, money, Tessa money, Johnson. Money, Number 10, money, senior money, center, money, Camilla money, Cardoso. Money, Number 12, money, freshman money, guard, money, Malaysia Fulwiley. Number 15, freshman center, Adele Tack. Number 20, junior forward, Sanaya Fagan. Number 21, sophomore forward, Chloe Kitts. Number 23, junior guard, Bree Hall. Number 25, sophomore guard, Raven Johnson. Number 35, senior center, Sakima Walker. Your coaching staff, assistant coaches, Khadija Sessions, Mary Woolley, Winston Gandy, Jolette Law, Lisa Boyer, and your head coach, John Staley. And they stay there, and they say yeah, and they say there. Cause all I do is please, please, please. And if you go in it, put your hands in the air, Well, again, in case you missed it, South Carolina became just the tenth team and the fifth program in the national championship. They passed every test perfection. They won in Paris. They won in places like Durham and Chapel Hill. They won in places you may have never heard of, like Uncasville, Connecticut. They won in hostile environments like Baton Rouge. They ran the table in the SEC for the second straight year. This was a team in every sense of the word 
The bench was just as important as the starters all season long. They sacrificed personal accolades and attention to put the team first, but they all made a difference. And this is how it's supposed to be. This is what a team looks like. This team put the we ahead of the me, and look where they are, they're perfect. The university has a marketing campaign with the tagline, Behold the Remarkable We. Well, this team fits that pretty well. Behold this remarkable we. I said it last night and I'll say it again, perfection wears garnet and black. And now it's my pleasure to introduce someone who knows a little bit about winning some championships, Athletics Director Ray Tanner. Thank you, Brad. Welcome to Colonial Life Arena, home of the 2024 National Champion. Two out of the last three years, and if not for COVID, it would be another one. We all know that. I want to congratulate you and say thank you for all your passion, your enthusiasm, the energy that you bring to this building. We got a fantastic group of young women who play basketball, a great coaching staff, the head coach of all time, but they appreciate what you bring when you come in this building because it's a never, ever lose when you're here. So thank you very much for being a part of that. And I appreciate all of you who dried out from being in the Thomas Cooper Fountain last night. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great picture. It is my honor to introduce three in a row National Coach of the Year, a national champion, 38 and 0, the greatest of all time, the GOAT, our head coach, Dawn Staley. It's an incredible honor, honor to come back to this, to come back to you. We, we, hope, we hope your watch parties were a success, let's say. <laughs> um, it's, it's so cool to come back to a place in which um, we've had so much success. Colonial Life Arena um, and the way that you support our women's basketball team and men's basketball team because it was pretty special up in this place and we don't lose very many, very many times in this place because of the environment that you all create um, and the fact that our president, President Amaritas and our board members chose To close class for today means <laughs> means they take they take winning and success very very seriously. Um, we hope that this is an annual day off. Um, but I, I just have to give it up to our players who made a commitment to each other. To, to, to probably do something that, that was totally different than any other team that I coached. They held each other accountable. Um, they encouraged each other. Uh, what you saw, 
them be able to do, that. all of them, each and every one of them took their turn in making an impact on any given night for our team to be successful. And they did it in a way in which they lifted up each other. And that is truly, truly an organic, an organic chemistry that you couldn't pay real money to produce. Um, I'll say this, sometimes we often don't know why. I thought the team that we filled um, last year would have brought home a national championship. It didn't happen. Half of the players on this team felt that loss and they vowed, they vowed to bring it on home. And sometimes they had a little swag about it. Sometimes they had a, a confidence about them. Sometimes it, will, it was a little bit too much for us to take because we didn't know what was, going, what was going to happen on the floor. And it happened last night when these players were talking and they used some choice words and we give them their space. We're in a coach's locker room and they're saying, we're going to do this to them, we're going to do that to them, we're going to do this to them, we're going to do that to them, right? Meanwhile, the coaches are in the locker room and we're like, either we're going to get blown out or we're going to blow them out. And I would say for the, for the first three minutes of the game, we got blown out. But the 37 other minutes, This team, this team would not be denied this year. I am incredibly proud of them, incredibly proud of them for all they've given. They sacrificed and won every single game. And let me give a shout out to our highlighters. Step forward, fellas. Step forward. These, is our, these are our practice players. And I gotta give them a huge shout out because they're the only team that beat us this year. <laughs> anyway, before I, before I give the mic to someone else, I just want to shout out our staff, um, our coaches, our trainer, our performance coach, our, our, our everything, our media person, our ticketing, every single person that had an impact um, in the success of our team. And this, this every, every year doesn't end this way but it doesn't diminish the work that they put in for us to have a year like this. But it's always pretty special when you can end the year on a high note like we, like we have and give credit where credit is due. Um, and then lastly, only by the grace of God that this happens. So thank you very much. Before we go, I think Raven had something to say. The revenge tour is over, and now it's time for the repeat tour.
jealous, you can be over here embracing that love. More love, more blessings, more life. God did. You either win with us or you watch us win. DJ Khaled. They want to stop. But look at us now. They count us out. They don't want to see you last. They take a three million dollars to buy your tax. A tub full of money, I still can't relax. All right, a brief but amazing program from Dawn Staley and her Gamecocks once again. Working together as a team was the theme. I love it when she gives us a little uh, back, back behind the curtain information. And she said they were talking a little trash before the game. As they should. <laughs> as yeah. they should. Yeah. She said they were saying we're going to do this to them, we're going to do this to them. And she said so it was going to go either one way. They were going to blow them out or they were going to get blown out. Luckily, it was the first. Absolutely. Of the choices. Yes, 38 and 0, three-time national championship uh, women's Gamecock basketball team. I just still don't even have the words to describe how exciting it is to see what they have accomplished. We were not supposed to be here. Coach Staley has said it that over and over again. It was supposed to be a rebuilding year. Yes, you know, all of the starters rebuilding. graduated last year, but we have seen what these women can do when they work together. And because of that, we are celebrating today. There was no classes today for USC students. Coach Staley says she hopes that she can make this an, an annual, annual day, day off for like, Carolina that has students. has a nice ring to it, Darcy. Mm -hmm. I feel as though Dr. Amaritas heard that and said, okay, let's go Go ahead and put the focus on capturing some more national champions. But as you heard Darcy say, she replaced her entire starting lineup this year. This was supposed to be a rebuilding year, but then the talent emerged. Ashlyn Watkins, a local player, Cardinal Newman player, uh, Malaysia Full Wiley, a Keenan High School f uh, basketball player, really shined. Um, we see Pow Pow in this picture hugging another freshman, Tessa Johnson, who came out and played with amazing poise um, on stage during we saw them dancing. I thought this was funny. Lisa Boyer, I don't know if you noticed this on stage. Lisa Boyer, her longtime assistant coach, she's been with her more than 20 years, was over in the corner. If it looked like she was holding a baby, Lisa was actually <laughs> holding Champ. So if you saw the lady like this on the side of the stage, that wasn't a baby. That is Champ, which of course is a great, oh, there's Lisa right behind. So that is Lisa directly behind Dawn Staley. She has been an assistant coach of hers for more than 20 years. Um, and she was holding champ on the stage and then I have to say on a personal note Khadijah Sessions um, it, you saw her dancing she is always dancing and bringing the vibe and bringing the energy she has been a player for Dawn Staley for many years left for a while started her own coaching jobs she was a coach at a lot of local high schools um, including River Bluff High School she was a local basketball coach she's coached Brady for about seven years as well she got hired back this year and a lot of the players has said her energy um, and her confidence that she brings to the team have been a big deal as well. So I loved seeing Khadijah, a local Gamecock. She's a Myrtle Beach girl, be able to come back and celebrate this win. Oh, yeah. I think most first people... First year on the coaching staff. Right. And I it's think, my first year and I got a national <laughs> championship. I think most people would agree that Champ Staley is Don's baby. Yes. Yes. So, so she, yeah, she yes, was so like, she, yes, I was like, because so I saw it, I was like, in the video. the baby uh, on the stage? <laughs> and the live picture. <laughs> and, and, and if you saw Camilla make that game-winning three, you probably saw that Khadijah went viral because of she her ran. response now, to she, that. Well, she's yeah. talking about the SEC tournament. Um, that was back. That was the Saturday night game. Uh, I can't remember what city it was in. What city uh, was that? Were we but y'all know that. I can't remember. That buzzer yeah. beater. It might have been. Was it Greenville? Greenville mm. before we came here, right? Yeah, it was Greenville. Yeah, okay. on Saturday. Okay, Greenville yeah. on Saturday before they became here, and somebody went sprinting across and out of uh, the screen, and that was Khadijah Sessions. So she kind of became legendary. And then they really burned her up on ESPN after that, and they kept sending her pictures, and she kept responding, being like, where's Khadijah going? <laughs> she was like, I don't know. I was going to celebrate. I don't know where I was going, but I was going someplace fast. Legend has it she's still running. She's still running. She's still running. 
Take a look at the top of the state house, the Gamecock flag flying high right below the flag of the United States and the state flag of South Carolina, rightfully where it belongs. Uh, Governor Henry McMaster said last night that that flag was going to be raised in honor of the Gamecocks winning another national championship. And again, if this is how freshmen play, yes, I've got a feeling, freshies. yes, I've got a feeling that this is going to be um, a long standing tradition. Dynasty. Let's yes, call it a dynasty. yes, I think that's a good thing um, to call it. And just looking back at the history of this team as we look at our beautiful WLTX drone video, y'all, this is exclusive WLTX drone video that you are looking at. But Don Staley was hired back in 2008, won our first national championship. Y'all remember back in 2017 with none other than Asia Wilson. Then in 2022, won the national championship again to Aaliyah Boston. We were all glued to our TVs last year where unfortunately we fell in the final four to Iowa with Caitlin Clark and then in 2004 as Raven has coined it the Raven revenge tour we came back and won and then she what did she say Dar it's not the revenge tour it's going to be the repeat tour the next repeat year tour. The, repeat. the repeat tour mm -hmm. one thing that coach Staley talks a lot about and anybody who's ever had the chance to meet her will tell you she is down earth she's humble she is one of those people who never puts on airs even though she was wearing a five thousand dollar jacket yesterday at the it game was a Louis Vuitton <laughs> she jackets. is a very very humble woman and because of that the fan base has grown uh, Columbia's uh, the Colonial Life Arena has consistently sold out five times this year, just this year alone. And every year the fan base grew more and more. Coach Staley talks about the fact that just about anybody can walk in and, and see her in her office to the team. and talk to her. And so because of that, I am not surprised to see how many people were showing up today at the Colonial Life Arena to welcome them home. We're in the process of trying to get the details on what's going to happen with this parade. parade. We know a parade um, is coming. We know one is coming, um, but we're waiting to hear from the city of Columbia on when that will happen. As far as how she built her fan base, if you got a chance to see my one-on-one -on -one interview with her before she left, that was one of the questions I asked her is, listen, like you built women's basketball in the state. How did you do it? And I loved her answer. She said, we mommed and popped it. Literally, we started player by player by player and let everybody know you're important to us if we're important to you. She keeps an open door policy on that women's basketball um, building. Like I asked her, you don't have a bouncer in here keeping people? She said, no, I don't. I, it's an open door policy. That's why she opens up practices to the fans too. Um, I've been to some of those open practices. You do have to sit in a certain spot. You don't mm -hmm. get to go anywhere you want. Right. Um, but you know, she opened up practices and really made everybody feel like they were a part of this garnet and black wave and you know I know at least for us having been here for 20 years like everybody loves Dawn Staley and the Gamecocks now and she has made women's basketball fans out of people that had never watched a day in their lives. Everybody watches women's sports yes. and so with that being said we've got crews all out across the Midlands coming up tonight on Friends at 5. We're talking about where you can get your merch. We're I talking need some merch. Yes. <laughs> We're talking about additional celebrations. We're talking about the team as a whole. Again that's today on Friends at 5. The other big story and we don't want you to miss this so we're going to wrap up our online coverage but the Eclipse. We're not going to have totality here in the Midlands, but, but three o'clock is the peak time. So you've got time. about seven minutes. Don't forget to wear your glasses and make sure to watch our continuing coverage at WLTX.com.